Welcome back to The Explanation Pro. Today I'll recap a romance and drama war film called, Where Hands Touch. Spoilers incoming. The movie is set in Germany, in 1944, and centers around a 16-year-old biracial girl named Lena, who is being hunted down by the Gestapo due to her being half-black. They arrive at her house and question her mother about her whereabouts. She then says that she's away in Lübeck with her aunt before quickly looking at the floor. The Gestapo eventually leaves and Lena's mother reveals a secret compartment that Lena had been hiding in. After that, they board a train for Berlin, which doesn't have the same strict rules about people like Lena. She then narrates about how she's one of the Rhineland bastards, who have German mothers and black fathers. Though they have more freedom than Jews, due to their German mothers, they are still being discriminated against because of them being black. Lena's brother, Cohn, begins to grow bored and then says that he cannot draw in his art book without a pencil. A soldier approaches them and smiles as he gives the boy a pencil. The soldier then sees Lena and immediately asks for her papers, which her mother shows. He questions her surname before harshly handing back her papers. She eventually goes to school and is introduced by the teacher to the class. The teacher then begins to pick on her appearance, calling it un-German. Lena defends herself, saying that her mother was German and that's where she got her German surname. The teacher asks her what her father's name is but she couldn't answer. That night, Lena asks her mother about her father. Her mother tells her that Lena already knows everything about her father. Cohn then tells them how he was scolded earlier in class for defending her. The next day, Lena passes by marching Jews on the way home. A young man then tells her she should march along with them before pushing her into the crowd. Another young man on the other side of the street watches. Lena, along with her mother and brother, visit her aunt as her uncle had recently returned from Vienna. Her aunt then talks to her mother that she didn't expect the two children to come along in visiting and is wary if anyone saw Lena enter. Her uncle arrives and Lena's mother then sends them home ahead. As they leave, her aunt tells her to leave by the back. Lena's mother then asks her uncle for false papers that would certify that Lena is sterilized. She then says that if he does this for her, then she won't bother the two of them again. They go to a store to buy the bread and the clerk, Gunther, jokes around with Cone. People start to line up behind the two siblings and an old man tells Gunther to hurry up. Gunther then makes Lena smile before they leave. Cone joins the Hitler Youth, which is mandatory. Before he leaves, their mother reminds him that he may learn things that are different from what she taught him and that he should know to figure out by himself which is right and wrong. Lena watches as he joins the other boys and they march away. The next morning, Lena is on the way to where her mother works when a boy wearing a Hitler Youth uniform hits her with his bike. Lena falls to the ground, injuring her face, while her mother tells him to be more careful. The boy, Lutz, picks up her things and hands them back to her before she and her mother walk away. Lutz's father watches the situation from a nearby building. Lutz arrives in his office and his father asks why he was there so early. He says that the leaders are going to have a meeting before the younger members arrive. He then reaches for a cigarette, but his father tells him to stop, saying that he should ask before taking it, and throws a cigarette at him. Lena and her mother then fetch Cone from a neighbor, who gets concerned upon seeing the wounds on her face. The neighbor then gives her mother a letter, saying it was dropped off by a man while they were out. She recognizes that it came from Lena's uncle. The two of them meet and he gives her some papers to sign and some instructions. He then tells Lena's mother that she should leave him and his wife alone now. Later on, Lutz and his father polish shoes together. Lutz says he did well that day though he receives no praise from his father, who instead says that they'll go out on a fishing trip meanwhile. Lena's mother gives her the papers from her uncle and tells her to sign them. She refuses and her mother then tells her that if she doesn't, then she will be taken and sterilized. Her mother also tells Lena that she wouldn't want this for her as she wants Lena to experience being a mother. The next day, Lena is pulled out of school. She runs home and her mother is thankful that she wasn't hurt. Because of this, Lena starts labor service. She and her mother are on their way home when she sees Lutz again. They make eye contact before Lutz's father asks if he was getting in the car with him. Lutz then says that he would just ride his bicycle home. He ends up following Lena and asks if she was alright. She says that she's fine and leaves. One day, Lena sees Gunther being made fun of by German soldiers. She hides and watches as they force him to take off his pants. The soldiers then find out that he is circumcised, which means that he's a Jew. They shoot him in the private part before shooting his head. 
That night, Lena and her family quietly eat dinner until Kuhn feels disgusted at how Gunther was a Jew, and yet they bought food from him. Lena then tells him that he was a good Jew while their mother says that it didn't matter whether he was a Jew or not because he was human. Lutz begins to show interest that he wants to fight on the front lines of the war. His father doesn't want him to, telling him of his experience of the previous war. Lena watches as members of the Hitler Youth gather outside their home for a parade. Her mother is fixing a radio, which is broadcasting a speech from the other side of the war. She goes outside and tries to join the parade, but the other children look at her, disgusted. She then runs away and follows them from afar as they line up near a forest. Lutz catches her hiding behind the trees and tells her that she could get in trouble for what she's doing. She tells him that she was curious about what Kohn was doing with their group. He then tells her that he has seen a woman like her on a cover of a jazz album that his grandfather owned. He then takes her to a lake, where he offends her by asking about her mother and father. She then says that she always wanted to swim in the lake at night, but she had a bad experience in her hometown. Lutz then jumps into the lake and they both play around the water. They almost get caught as soldiers pass by but Lena hides underwater. The two of them start to grow closer. During one of their meetings, Lutz asks if Lena's father, who was a soldier, fought for Germany. She answers yes, even though she's not sure, and is angry that night when her mother tells her that her father was a member of the French army and an enemy of Germany. Her mother talks to her in French but she gets angrier. Her mother then warns her that if Lutz's father finds out about them, then he will kill Lutz. After work, Lena tells her mother that she left her gloves before leaving to meet up with Lutz. They start to kiss before seeing fighter jets pass by. He then gives her some cheese before she returns to her mother. During target practice, Lutz hears Cone insult Lena. Lutz then pulls the boy away and feeds him dirt as punishment. He takes Cone home later as Lena arrives. She chases her brother and asks her if he still loves her, but she says he hates her because she's a girl. The Gestapo arrive at their home that night and ask for Lena's papers. He starts to check them before burning them. Meanwhile, Lutz is still trying to convince his father to let him fight, but his father still won't allow him to. Lena sees soldiers blocking the street, preventing her from getting home. Lutz sees her and takes her to his house while his father's away so that she can be safe. He shows her the jazz album he talked about earlier and plays it on the sonogram. The two of them dance and eventually make love. Lutz takes her home that night and he gets caught by soldiers watching the streets because of the curfew. Lena manages to hide and he gives her his ring before she enters the building. On their way to work, Lena's mother bumps into a soldier and another one tells them to stop walking. He asks for their papers but Lena doesn't have any to show. Her mother is taken away. Lena tries to meet with Lutz but one man tells him that he had left already. She then leaves Cone to live with their aunt. She goes to work and sees that some soldiers are checking everyone's papers. One soldier starts walking toward her but she distracts him by pointing out a woman that tries to escape. She runs away but is caught by another soldier and sent to one of the labor camps. She gets assigned to work in the kitchen. While in line one day, the girl beside her almost faints. She looks down and sees that her shoes are broken and her feet are bleeding. The girl almost falls down but Lena catches her. After that, they return to their bunk and Lena finds that someone else is lying down on her bed. She begins to insult them, calling them a Jew while the other person insults her for being black. The girl she met earlier convinces Lena to bunk with her instead. Later that night, the girl, Hermine, tells her that Lena's stomach is round, meaning that she's pregnant. She then asks if Lena knows what happens in the Jewish rat house, but she doesn't answer. The next morning, Lena sits down outside where she can see the place she calls the rat house. She sees that ash is falling and a few specks land on her hand. She then looks at the other side, horrified. Time passes and Lutz is seen aboard a military vehicle. Meanwhile, personnel in the labor camp sees the family ring Lutz gave to Lena and hands it to a soldier. Back in the camp, Lena gives some of her food to Hermine and tells her that she'll give her a potato that she can use to trade for better shoes. Before they sleep that night, she tells Hermine that she told the authorities that she is sterilized. Hermine then helps her bind her stomach to hide her pregnancy. Lena eventually steals a potato from the kitchen to give to her bunkmate. She gets caught by a guard who tells her to take off her clothes. Then, Lutz arrives and is shocked to see her in the camp. He then volunteers to search her bunker and the guard leaves. 
Lena's bunkmate arrives and Lutz walks them to their bunker. After that, Lutz goes to his father's office. His father notices that he's pale and asks if he's sick. Lutz then asks his father why he was sent on the camp. His father then explains it was to keep him safe and away from the front lines while still serving the fatherland. In the prisoner's bunker, Lena lets Hermine take a bite of the potato before safeguarding it for her. She then takes off Hermine's shoes and bandages her foot. The next morning, Lena cleans the windows of the office of Lutz's father. She notices the ring on his finger before going back to work. Later, Lena is asked to go with Lutz and they find a safe place to talk. Lutz asks her how did she get into the camp and where her mother was but she doesn't answer. She shows her frustration that he suddenly left without telling her. Lutz answers that he was called and that he had no choice and no time to tell her about it. He then tells her to meet with him tonight so he can give her food. Meanwhile, another officer starts to question the loyalty of Lutz's father because he hasn't signed an order to clear the children in the camp and because of his connection to a traitor. Lena sneaks out one night and Lutz gives her a cloth and some food. The two of them hug and Lutz gives her his coat to warm her up. Lutz then finds out that she's pregnant. Meanwhile, a soldier returns Lena's ring to Lutz's father. The next morning, Lutz walks with his father and they sit down with Lena in view. His father offers him a cigar but he refuses, looking nervous. That night, his father signs a document, authorizing the move of the women to another camp. One of the camp staff then enters Lena's bunker and wakes the people inside up. Hermine then fails to find her shoes and begins panicking. She demands the person sleeping next to their bunk for her shoes, but Lena tells her that the person is dead. Lena then finds out that Hermine is a Jew. As they're lined up, one of the officers sees that Hermine doesn't have her shoes. He then calls Lutz and orders him to shoot her. He hesitates and the officer takes the shot instead. Lena throws up and the officer aims his gun at her before she faints. Lutz beats up another woman in line to distract the officer. Lutz and Lena then have a talk as she tells him that she should have just killed Hermine but Lutz says it would have been unfair. Lena then criticizes how even though she is proud to be German, she is still being discriminated against. He then suggests that they escape camp and leave Germany but Lena refuses. She says she doesn't want to hide her identity anymore and that she wants to be who she is in Germany. Lutz then proposes that they then try to hide until the war is over, despite Lena saying that they won't survive trying to escape. In his father's office, Lutz finds out that the prisoners are being moved. His father then shows him the ring and threatens to send him out of the camp to protect him because the enemies are already near. That night, Lutz gives Lena a military uniform and tells her to wear it as a disguise. Gunfire and explosions continue outside while she starts to change but suddenly gets scared and puts her prisoner uniform back on. She then runs back to her barracks. The next day, the camp and prisoners are being moved earlier because of the recent attack. Lutz refuses to go and eventually tells his father that Lena is pregnant with their child before running off to find her. He eventually finds Lena among the crowd and begins walking to her but is then suddenly shot by his father, killing him. The crowd disperses as the Americans seize the base and end the war. Lena watches Lutz's corpse, which had been left behind. Then, a dark-skinned man is seen carrying her away. Seven weeks later, Lena is placed in a camp for displaced people. Her savior approaches her and talks to her in French. He then tells her that she hasn't registered and then asks for her name. After she tells him, he calls her a good German girl. The movie ends as Lena finally reunites with her brother and mother. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.